In 2020, something became very obvious in our country. Many people lost all respect for authority and rulers in our society, right? No matter which side you were on, you didn't like the other side. And if someone was in power that you didn't like, you were automatically against them, it seemed. And what it is, is our society has went away from teaching, respecting those that need to be respected. That's right. Hi, I'm Shauna. This is Anna and this is Pete. And we're Golly Hugh Family Discipleship. We are uh, ordained ministers with the Church of God. And we, um, we disciple our family by reading the Word of God, studying that, and uh, applying it to our life daily. Now, this week we are finishing It's Easter up. week. Yeah, it's Easter week. See, Anna is dressed up. I was going to show you. She is. <laughs> she's got a cute little <laughs> outfit um, uh, that she's uh, kept clean all day. Uh, we are finishing up the book of Titus this week and uh, may not be, it's not really an Easter message, but uh, the gospel is always relevant, right? And to be celebrated. So uh, we're on chapter three and today we're going to go over verse one. It says, remind the people to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready to do whatever is good. Okay, so once again, we just want to remind you, this is a pastoral epistle. Paul is writing to Titus, who is a pastor. Yeah. So what he's telling the pastor of a church to do here, it is your responsibility to tell your congregation that they should respect the authority and government over them. Right. It should be preached from the pulpits. It should be individuals standing before the congregation saying, no, you don't do that. You respect those individuals for the position that they have. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, you know, rebellion is a spirit that brings about a lot of chaos, a, a danger, war. Um, the Apostle Paul, he had seen it. He had seen rebellion. Um, the, actually, the people in Crete were rebellious people. They were liars, and uh, they talked about how they were uh, gluttons and lazy. Um, uh, he was witness to a lot of disrespect. And um, God wants us to be a strong church. But in order to be a strong church, we're going to have to be a respectful one. Now, during 2020, during the pandemic, a lot of our leaders really, really tried to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they canceled services, went online for services, all out of respect for authority. Not that they thought it was the best thing to do to stop having church or the best thing to do was stop worshiping. But they thought the best thing was to do was honor our, our government and their and their requests, right? Because they wasn't telling us just to stop worshiping or to stop doing anything. They were just saying, hey, let's try to separate each other for a little while. And our churches did a good job doing that. But the, the lay body has to realize it's our responsibility to always be obedient to those who are in authority to us as long as it doesn't contradict the Word of God. Right. Right. And that's what Sean is saying. God is a God of order. Uh, we've learned in other uh, texts from the Apostle Paul that if someone is in power and authority over us, they're only there because why? God uh -huh. allowed them to be. Uh -huh. He allowed them to be in that position. Right, and he develops structure. You know, God develops structure. He develops systems of order. Um, and why? Because he wants us to dwell in peace and in safety and in love. Um, he is our premier authority. Mm -hmm. He is the one that we look to first and foremost. Uh, we put everybody after we put God. Um, God goes first. And um, But if God says for us to, to obey him, then obey the authority mm -hmm. of this land, then we do. Uh, we put it in that order. That's how it stacks up. And you look, maybe the best example of this is the, from the Old Testament with the Hebrew children. Uh, in their instances, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego went out of their way to fall into line with the rulers that were over them. That's right. uh, they did everything in their power to serve them, mm -hmm. to learn their language, to learn their ways, to do whatever it took because they had power and authority over them. But when it come time to cross the line, right, when they told Daniel, Daniel, you need to stop praying to your God, he said, no, I'm praying to my God, right? Then he stepped in. Uh, the three Hebrew children, when it was time to battle an idol, they said, no, I'm not going to do that, right? So there, there was a time for them to, to not uh, respect authority when it crossed those lines of, hey, we're doing fundamental things that God tells us not to do. Right, and they were people who gained uh, glory for the kingdom of God because the character that they held 
in all things, that right. they respected the authority, uh, but they respected God first. He honored them, and then they were honored by the authority of the land. And we want to encourage you, respect authority in this nation. You may not have voted for the person who's president, for the person who's governor, for the person who's in your Senate or House of Representatives, but respect those individuals. Pray for those individuals. Above all things, pray for those individuals. Uplift them. And, and uh, hopefully, if they, they are not children of God, they come into that relationship with Him. So going forward, uh, this is Easter week. We hope you have a great week. And remember what it's all about. Jesus Christ coming and dying from our sins and raising from the grave so that we can raise as well. Uh, four things a disciple of Jesus Christ is going to do every day. Encounter God, exalt God, edify yourself by reading the Word of God, and engage this world for Jesus Christ. You know, give respect, teach respect, and earn respect. Um, and the kingdom of God will flourish. Say bye, Anna. Say bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. God bless. <laughs>